Polymer crystallinity refers to the degree of order in the arrangement of polymer chains. Most polymers are semi-crystalline, meaning they contain both crystalline and amorphous regions, which together determine the material's properties. Crystalline regions are tightly packed and aligned in a repeating pattern, similar to crystals, giving the polymer strength, rigidity, thermal resistance, and higher density. These regions form due to factors like linear chain structure, strong intermolecular interactions, and controlled cooling. Amorphous regions, by contrast, have randomly arranged chains, providing flexibility, elasticity, and transparency. In semi-crystalline polymers like polyethylene, crystalline regions add strength, while amorphous regions improve toughness and reduce brittleness. What is spherulite? The diagram shows the semi-crystalline region inside polymer called spherulites. Semi-crystalline polymers tend to form spherulite structures branches that are crystalline grow out from that central nucleation site and the region between those branches are amorphous. Those branches tend to grow until they reach another spherulites, giving them a roughly spherical shape. The diagram on the left is the optical micrograph of the ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene where you can clearly see the region which are crystalline and amorphous the diagram on the right is. The electron micrograph of natural rubber spherulite where you can see its general shape where it is nucleating in the middle and the branches grows out from it. How ammonium chloride changes the spherulites in a polymer. By addition of ammonium chloride to the polymer, the size of the spherulites which is crystalline becomes smaller. The space between the spherulites which is the amorphous region increases. The conductivity of the polymer increases. By addition of more ammonium iodide to PEO, the size of the spherulite becomes smaller. The space between the spherulites increases. The conductivity of PEO can increase. As flexible chains, polymers can be crystalline, semi-crystalline or amorphous. The amount of crystallinity determines to a large extent whether a particular piece of polymeric material is useful for a given application. Therefore, it is important to find out the degree of crystallinity. The degree of crystallinity by weight may be determined by using the formula shown. The degree of crystallinity is equals to the area of crystalline peak divided by the sum of area of crystalline peak and amorphous hump or the sum of all crystalline peaks divided by the sum area of all crystalline peaks and amorphous hump. The area of below the curves are obtained using integration method, and the area is then used to calculate the degree of crystallinity. The diagram shows an XRD pattern and the table shows the area under the curves. In this case, the area of crystalline peaks of the XRD pattern is 11.15926 and 27.06399. Thus, the sum of the area of the crystalline peaks is 38.22325 which is around 38.22. The area of the amorphous hump is 351.6789 which is around 389.90. Therefore, the sum of the areas of crystalline peaks and amorphous hump is 389.90215. To find the degree of crystallinity, the sum of the crystalline peaks is divided by the sum between the crystalline peaks and the amorphous hump which is 38.22 divided by 389.90 times 100. The answer we get 9.80%. Hence, the polymer material only has a 9.8% crystallinity. Here's the reference used to make this video. Thanks for watching.